The popularity of wood-burning stoves and gas fires means that for some homes, a flue has to be installed. You may have noticed a great number of metal flues on the sides of houses, some of which have been poorly installed with cheap inferior products that are now beginning to look tatty or starting to collapse and lean. Not only can these be an eyesore, they can also become extremely dangerous. Anyone who's used eco fires to install their metal flues will know that we refuse to install any other flue than the more expensive Pujolar TI flue system. These are regarded in the industry as the best you can buy. However, this type of flue will never perform or look as attractive as a proper brick chimney with pumice lining. In this video, we'll show you from start to finish how we installed a brick chimney with a pumice lining. This customer originally asked for a quote on a steel flue system. However, it wasn't until he was advised of the benefits of a real chimney that he opted for a new brick chimney. The two most important factors were the appearance on the outside of the house and that it saved a lot of space inside the room. We created a nice large opening inside so that he could have the stove installed onto a simple hearth connecting directly to the chimney. There's no need for a steel liner with a pumice chimney. In the first instance, we had to remove and dispose of an old shed and concrete base before we could start to clear the area. We then began to clear the area and start to dig a hole to take the foundations. Rather than have a skip in the garden, if we can, we prefer to clear everything immediately in our own vehicles. This keeps a tidy working area, which is better for us and leads to a better experience for our customer and their neighbours. Once the foundations were laid, we could break through the wall and start the construction of the fireplace opening. This is a cavity wall construction. You'll see that we've boarded up the opening inside to prevent dust entering the room. The chamber is now at its full height and we started inserting and building up the pumice flue sections. From here we start to build up the main chimney stack by fixing the pumice sections one at a time. We then build around in brick to match the house and then we insulate the gap between the two with leaker insulation fill which has excellent insulation properties, is fire resistant, frost resistant and has no hazardous properties. Then we bring in the scaffolding to provide a safe working platform to continue upwards. The second stage is now complete. We've now reached roof level and we'll need to break through and continue building up. This part is more tricky as we need to strip the roof back to ridge height then weatherproof once through with traditional lead work. Almost there. We now finish the stack and finish off with a 150mm diameter pot which is purpose made for the pumice system and an ideal diameter for most wood burners. You'll notice the lead tray protruding from the brickwork. This is to prevent rain seeping down from the top causing damp issues. Apart from finishing the lead work and the final tidy up, this is the finished chimney stack. Once the brickwork has dried out, it will match it even better. One extremely happy customer and many very happy neighbours. For more information on installing a pumice chimney, call our showroom on 01252 815 100.